Welcome to another episode of Preptober Vlog! This episode we are focusing on lists, on lists, on lists to get ready for NaNoWriMo in November. <laughs> so one of the worst things that can happen once NaNoWriMo starts is coming down with a really bad case of writer's block. Writer's block is when your brain just goes completely blank and you can't figure out what else to write and you are stuck. So one of the things that I like to do to keep myself prepared for those moments, and it will happen when you get stuck, is to have lists. Have lists that are ready to back you up when you just have no idea what else you should be writing. So, because I'm a super list person, I wanna make lists of the lists I need to make. So one of the first lists that I really wanna think about is the one that's always hardest for me. And I've already talked with a lot of you and heard that you're having trouble with the exact same thing. It is the dreaded naming of the characters. Naming the characters is so challenging. And the reality is there's not an easy way around it. A lot of times you have to keep trying out names until one sticks or to, until one feels right. And I always like to have a long list to back me up because at some point I'm going to hit a moment where I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what this character should be called. And naming your main characters is going to be the hardest. And I always start with a long list of names. The other thing that's kind of tricky sometimes is dealing with settings. Now, if you're dealing with something that's realistic fiction or taking place in this universe that we live in, you don't have to come up with names for those. But if you're doing like a high fantasy, you may want to also generate a list of names for settings. Now, my story is going to take place in this universe, so my settings list is going to be more of like where are the places they're going to go, what areas in those locations, so I can start narrowing down. Because I may need to do research on some of them. If I haven't been to the physical city that I'm sending my character to, I need to look up some information. So that's an important list to start with. I also have a lot of trouble with this next one. Possible titles. I have done an entire NaNoWriMo and not had a title. I'm terrible at it because I want it to be perfect. And the reality is we're just starting NaNo. We're just starting Preptober. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay to have a list of four or five different ones that you're playing around with. That also lets you keep adding as you have those moments of inspiration. Okay, kind of switching gears because these are all big topic ideas. These are important, big focuses. Let's get down to some more specific details like side characters. Now, these are not characters. Oops, didn't leave enough room. These are not going to be like your supporting characters. These are way less important than that. The side characters are going to be, think about like your stereotypes, like the wise old man who gives your character the one bit of wisdom they need to succeed. That's going to be more of a side character. They're going to tend to be very one-dimensional and or flat characters. They're going to be very brief. They're going to show up and they're going to leave. And so like when my character walks through the marketplace and that one random person approaches him and is like, what are you doing here? And it tells my character something's wrong that's a side character because we're never going to see that person again. Okay, so what I like to do is I make this list of side characters is that I get their names and what they look like. You may be like, names? Names again? Yeah, but I'm just going to use this list of names over here. I'm not going to create a totally different list of names. This is going to be like, these are little, little blurps that I can just grab whenever I need them. Okay, now the final type of list that I really want to make today is unrelated to my story. It's kind of related, but it's really not. It is going to be an inspiration list. Inspire. Because here's the thing. I need to know what kind of books am I drawing from? What kind of stories do I think are really good stories? Because I want to emulate them. I want to be like them. I want to be like these great authors who sell millions of books and are famous. Right? I mean, I'm, I may not be, but I might. I want to be like them. I want to do the best I can. I want to put pictures of the settings of the places I want my character to go. I want to know what are my characters going to look like. 
I might put quotes that are going to inspire me and think, yeah, I can do this. A lot of people also include music on their inspiration list. That's a very common thing, very popular thing with people that are getting ready for Preptober. So we've made our list of lists. Now it's time to actually start making them. So I started off with my list of names and I broke it down into three categories. I broke it down into female, male, and neutral. And part of the reason I did this was to keep myself more organized. And I just started dumping names down. I started thinking about what are names from different cultures, different backgrounds, what are different types of people that are gonna have different types of names. And there are even some names that once I had the thought, I immediately scratched it out. So like you'll see, I scratched out John. John's my brother's name. That would be super weird to have a character in my story named John. So I just got him all out here. So as far as settings go, I really wanna focus on what are my major locations. And so I broke it down by what countries I'm gonna be in because my character, I think I wanna be country hopping just a little bit. And so I got the big countries out and then I went back in and I blocked out, all right, what's gonna be fiction? What's gonna be based on real life? What kind of things or information might I need? And then how am I gonna get from one place to another? Because I picked this one cool sounding city, but it's not near anything else. So I spent a lot of time decorating my possible titles page. And the real reason for it was that I just could not come up with anything decent. And so like I got my whole like title done and I added some decorations and I just, I could not come up with anything. And so eventually I just started dumping different words down that I relate with the story and I'm still not satisfied. I'm going to have to come back to this whole thing. So for my side characters, I started breaking down what kinds of stereotypical characters did I need to include. So like the elder, the shopkeeper, somebody that runs errands, like just the, the stereotypes there. And then I started filling in details about them. And I still didn't name my bad guys. I think I have to decide what country my bad guys are from before I start giving them names. Now this list is just the beginning all of these are just works in progress. We're just getting started, all right? All of these are gonna help me as I get into NaNoWriMo, but I can edit and change and redo any of these at any given time. But you'll notice that I put my different lists up with my inspiration board. And so some of you may choose to do a literal board. You may choose to just tape them on your walls. Please don't tape them on your walls at home without checking with your parents important things here but um I put mine up here on my whiteboard in my little home office and I put up a couple of quotes that are going to kind of inspire me as I move forward like this is a Dwayne the Rock Johnson quote about how do you achieve success and I just it makes me happy um this one is from Shuri and Black Panther because I'm a little nerd girl at heart and I just really like that one and my printer is currently out of ink so I couldn't put pictures of where my physical locations are but look, I made do with my little doodles, right? We have Egypt, we have Hong Kong's a big city. Yes, those are buildings, don't make fun of me. Um, Moscow with, you know, big onion towers, right? Because as I come in and start writing for NaNoWriMo, I wanna be able to immerse myself in this story. And I'm gonna keep adding things. I'll put some sketches of my protagonist and the sporting characters here. I may put something about my antagonist and his henchman over here. Right? We're going to continue building as Preptober goes on, as NaNoWriMo goes on. What kind of lists did you make? I want you to post them in the comments below. Did I forget to make a list? Because you know me, I'm going to make that list. I'll talk to you soon. Haven't joined our Preptober family? Now is a great time to like, comment, subscribe. Check out some of the other videos I've done to get ready for NaNoWriMo. We'll see you soon.